Welcome back to the Tricky Brickies, ladies and gentlemen, your daily brickwork show where we tackle all different elements of the brickwork game. Today I'm doing an extension. Here we go. Quite a relatively easy one. It's all being rendered afterwards, but we've got some of these windows coming out. We're gonna have a 1200 window, which is roughly the two panels there. So I'm gonna have a brick panel going in this section here, up to the top. Patio doors coming off of this reveal right the way up to here. So there are our patio doors from there to there. And we've got a 1200 window going in this flank around this side. We put all the subs in yesterday. The footing was already in. So I put in the, the subs. Nice retaining wall down there. Bellies, blocks on their bellies. Got us up to damp course there lovely so now we've just put the stone in the inside and leveled this off we're now going to give this a blinding of sand then we're going to put a sheet of dpc uh, dpm sorry in around then we're going to insulate it then we're going to concrete on top of that and that'll be the floor ready so that's what we're going to be doing now getting the inside in and stuff like that and then after that we'll start tackling the superstructure up full two one high then we'll get some sort of access up the top and then we can figure out once we take some tiles off what height our joists are going on at but we'll try and keep them the same height as the plate of this house here then we can take the tile off sit our joists on and then redress over onto the flat roof that will come along that's the idea anyway design and build <laughs> There we go, so the sand's down now, been whacked. Now we've got our DPM, our damp proof, damp proof membrane in, turned up all the way around the edges where it needs to be. The first one comes up and laps over everything. Then we're gonna put our insulation in. After our insulation, we'll then put another DPM over the top of that. Then that'll stop the concrete reacting with the insulation. Then we can fill it up with concrete right the way through and we will be ready for superstructure. So concrete has gone off. <laughs> Here we go, we're getting through the concrete now. We're just waiting on the last little bit of dust. We can knock up the last, last five, six barrel loads. Get through there. Bosh. She's in, she's moist. <laughs> but there we go. It's uh, four o'clock already, but we haven't done bad today. Big ask, we were only just gonna prep it today, but now we've concreted it as well, so we've won, once you start concreting, you can't stop, you've gotta get it done. <laughs> Here we go, our Celotex has arrived. Lovely. And our blocks are here too. Here we go, we've got our fur fixes on the wall. Again, cut in the DPC. Put our four inch DPC through there. Lovely. <clears throat> fur fix clips. In they go. Bosh, lock into the beds. Lovely. So I've drawn this pink line all the way up the wall, absolutely vertical. So I set my line up now, measurement 225 from the slab to the line. I've set up a piece of timber here. I've also gauged this at 25 mil. 25 mil, do I? Ha <laughs> ha! At 225 mil, oi oi! So I put a mark on there because that's the window height. When my window comes in further up this flank, there's a window at 900. We go up right the way up there so we can pull that in and then all I've got to do is return this 675 on the outside so that lines through to here <laughs> that'll be our block on the inside like an L lovely so there we go we've got our first course down all the way through down there I've used my level my two foot level to upright everything as I've come along here 
up with level on and we're nice and upright all the way through all of these. <clears throat> We've got some services that are going to come through from this existing kitchen, which is going to have an island in here or something. It's going to come out and shoot out through here and into this drain here. So at the moment, I'm just going to leave this block out. I'll put a couple of bricks in there, balance the next block over the top, and then afterwards we can cut these out. We can put this pipe in and then I can brick around this pipe. So that'll be happy days. Good. Lovely. So we let that one set now. Go and get some food while that one sets. And then we can go on top of it and build it right the way up. Here we go. We're up six courses now. Lovely old job. Now I'm going to go outside and back it up a bit. Keep getting little gusts of wind over here. The mountains are just over there. So, uh, yeah. Let's get it backed up. We don't want it blowing over. <laughs> we set the all in. Now we started backing up. I've done three courses of engineering's to get it back to match the house. And now we're running the blocks up. Lovely. the last little bit to get on here now three more courses on this inside then we can insulate it again we use these buttons once we've got our wall ties through we use these buttons insulation back, as you can see there so we'll get that done and then it's time for tricky to drive back to sunny Essex for the weekend oh yo so let's get it back in Let's get this cracked out. Boom. So while Leon's putting the mix on, I'm gonna quickly smash out all my cuts. So that's the inside up, same on the outside, bit of insulation in here now, insulate this, block it up, lovely old job. So there we go ladies and gents, not a bad week's work there. All the footing, block up the footing, up to splash, and then uh, run round inside and out, blocks inside and out, and also pour the concrete floor, bosh, insulated, up sand, everything, Been good, old job. So there we go, at quarter ten, 
Tricky stand on the Friday. Time for me to drive all the way back to Essex. Happy days. We will be back here on Monday carrying on with the extension. The conservatory is coming down, so there's going to be loads more to come. Then, after a weekend of madness on a Tricky Bricky experience live back in my studio in Colchester, I'm back again in Wales. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> right, here we go. We've broken into the side of the cavity. We've changed where the window's going to go now on this side. We were going to butt our window straight up against this side here where the original one was. But now we're going to bring it out a block and a half. And it will finish here. It's a 120 window. Obviously it's going to be a little bit higher, but that's where it's going to be on the wall. And then this is our nib in between patio doors and window. So there's our window, it's nice and central in that flank then. Boom. So yeah, we've cut out here, I've had my cutter on the go this morning, cut her into our cavity, we're gonna put some fur fixes up on here and here, then we can do that part. So for today, we're gonna to get this section here built, all set up here, break into the cavity down here as well, and get all this sorted. Big panel up here, inside and out. We've also got our lintels now. There they are. Bosch. And then at some point I've got to get up in here. I think it's 225 from here to here. And then we've got the plate. But I'm not sure until I take this out. It might be another brick up there as well before the plate. But we'll find out when I take a few tiles off up there and see what's occurring behind the tiles. But for now, we're going to get this window sorted out in this pack. So here we are now, we're up on the trestles, we're up the top, I've bedded the lintels on, here we go, 12.05 I've made the from seal to there, just to give the window 5 mil. they're coming at 1200, so they'll fit in there nice. Now also, I've got a few tiles off, I'll get my level through here, see it, you okay. can feel, is on top of the plate inside there, this roof plate on this part of the roof, I'll get it level. And when that's level there, it works out from the bottom of this level to the top of that block there is 150 mil. So it's going to be one more cross of bricks, then a bit of plate bedded on to make the last 75 mil. So that's a lovely old job. So I've set a block up this end, I've set a block up this end. So we can run our blocks all the way through now. Just gonna put a course of Enjo's through here to keep it all square. No need to go up and down with a bond, just run some bricks through. And that'll keep it lovely old job. Got a few bricks to go on here, just to get this bearing for this lintel as well. And over the other side. But, we're out of muck. Here we go then, we're getting these blocks on now. Nice and level. That's what we like to see. Boom. Through there, coarser bricks. Then that would be ready for plates. Here we go. That is the top course going on there. Lovely. Nice engineering brick on the top. Nice and solid. That's what we like to see. Bonded. It's all going good. Nice ball for perps. Nice clean bricks. That's what we like to see, isn't it, they are mate? Indeed. Do it that way, pick and dip style. He's got it all in the locker, he's always tricky. Use the surplus to pack the next one. I mean, this lad's just, just a machine. <laughs> Yo. There we go. Well, that is as far as we can get with the extension now until the chippy comes. Chippy's going to take off all of this roof stuff here, and he said he's going to pop in them couple of blocks there. 
We are, have actually completely run out of materials. We're a few blocks and a few bricks short, but not many. And the chippy guy said he's gonna run these ones in across the top of here. He's literally just gotta put the lintel on there, run a couple of bricks and a couple of blocks across. And that's the new plate height on top of that brick at the top there. So, not bad going, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it, another tricky brick of build. Well, as far as I'm going with it, complete. Happy days. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of another tricky bricky experience or another tricky bricky job. We have got that one complete now, wrapped up as far as what we're going. Not bad for a one and one over seven days of day work. Happy days. We're just getting the mixer put down now and then we can get out of here and we can go to new adventures tomorrow on another job. So make sure you tune in and make sure you hit that like and subscribe to the Tricky Bricky Show. Then you will get to see all the other jobs that we're going to get up to for the rest of the week. Hit that like and subscribe. Ain't that right? Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Till the next one guys and girls, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. But until then, have a great evening and I'll see you soon. Peace out and pow.